Welcome to a new episode of the podcast, Fox Agent is made by AI for business executives that work with AI. You've likely heard whispers or perhaps seen headlines about a uh, significant shift happening in the world of artificial intelligence. Today, we're taking a deep dive into a crucial report generated by Vox Agent titled The Exodus of AI Talent from Meta. Now, this isn't just about one company. It's really a symptom of, well, seismic shifts in the entire AI landscape. Our mission for you today is to unpack why some of the brightest minds in AI are leaving one of the world's tech giants, what it means for the broader industry, and most importantly, how these trends will inevitably impact the future of innovation for you and your organization. Absolutely. And this Vox Agent report, it's a really comprehensive synthesis. It pulls together insights from, you know, numerous articles, academic research, proprietary analysis to give us a complete, quite nuanced picture. It offers a deep look at the underlying causes of this talent migration. I mean, everything from strategic pivots and resource allocation right through to internal culture and its profound implications. We'll explore not just what's happening on the surface, but that critical why it matters for companies like yours navigating this rapidly evolving AI landscape. Okay, so diving straight into the report's core finding, it paints this vivid picture of a significant departure of top AI talent from Meta. Mm. It actually characterizes it quite dramatically as a brain drain. Look. What's truly astonishing here, and this is a point that really grabs your attention, is that this isn't just, you know, a handful of individuals leaving. This widespread phenomenon is happening despite Meta reportedly offering extraordinarily generous compensation packages. I mean, really huge. Mm -hmm. We're talking about base salaries hitting like $2 million. Mm -hmm. Offers for senior researchers may be exceeding $100 million. And get this, there was even a jaw-dropping reported $1 billion job offer to one highly sought after researcher, Mira Murati, known for her pivotal work at OpenAI. Wow, a billion dollars. Yeah, and she apparently turned it down. It really makes you pause, doesn't it? When money like that ceases to be the primary motivator, something, well, something far more fundamental must be at play. It absolutely does. And this raises a really important question that executives everywhere should be asking. If the money is that good, what else could possibly compel these brilliant minds to leave? The report highlights that even Meta's much-hyped superintelligence lab, you know, conceived as this magnet for top-tier talent, it experienced departures shortly after its launch. And this was despite substantial financial incentives. Yeah, even the shiny new lab. Exactly. This isn't just about general employee satisfaction. For these elite AI researchers, the report reveals compensation often acts more like a hygiene factor. Once it hits a certain admittedly incredibly high threshold, the marginal utility of just more money drops off sharply. It gives way to this intense focus on things like intellectual freedom, the scale of impact they can have, and a clear sense of purpose. Things that even nine or ten figure offers maybe can't buy. So what we're seeing really is a fundamental disconnect between Meta's strategic direction and the you know deeply held aspirations of its most valuable AI assets. It's not just about the numbers on the paycheck, it's about what those individuals are truly seeking from their careers. And the report makes it clear those priorities have shifted dramatically. Okay, building on that strategic tension, the report then zeroes in on a really fascinating consequence. Meta's colossal investment in the metaverse. Now, while that's a bold vision in its own right, this strategic pivot is identified as inadvertently overshadowing its core, its foundational AI research efforts. It seems to have created this palpable perception among researchers that their work was being deprioritized, or maybe more accurately, reprioritized into a specific application rather than broad exploration. Mm -hmm. Reprioritized is a good way to put it. And for you, as someone interested in staying well-informed about resource allocation and internal dynamics, this is a classic example of how a grand vision in one area can, perhaps quite unintentionally, undermine another critical, equally innovative department. It almost sounds like Meadow was speaking two different languages internally, doesn't it? That's a crucial observation, yeah. If we connect this to the bigger picture, many top AI researchers, they prioritize fundamental AI breakthroughs. Think of it as building the next generation of general purpose AI models, you know, ones that can learn, adapt, and reason broadly, really pushing the very frontier of what AI can do. Right, the really foundational stuff. Exactly. And that's distinct from solely applying existing models within a specific framework like the metaverse, which, you know, while valuable, often means optimizing current AI for very particular consumer-facing applications within a sort of closed ecosystem. For these top minds, this kind of shift created uncertainty and disillusionment. 
They seek organizations where their skills are central to the overarching vision, where they can contribute to truly groundbreaking foundational work that advances the entire field, not just one product line. It's about that intellectual stimulation, unfettered exploration, and the ability to make a significant, often public impact on the scientific community. So if that's the strategic backdrop, what does this all mean for Meta's internal environment and its ability to actually foster innovation? The report does hint at a chaotic culture and maybe a lack of clear vision within Meta's AI division. Mark Zuckerberg's leadership style, while undeniably transformative for growth in many areas, it might not fully cater to the unique needs of these cutting-edge AI researchers. They often value autonomy, deep collaboration, and a stable, intellectually stimulating environment maybe above all else. That's a key point. And adding to this internal turmoil, the decision mentioned in the report to restructure the AI unit into four separate subdivisions. It further exemplifies a company maybe grappling with its direction and how best to manage its elite talent. It's just a certain restlessness in Meta's approach, perhaps a continuous search for the right organizational fit. Indeed. And this lack of clear alignment and consistent communication, coupled with these rapid shifts in organizational structure and priorities, well, it can profoundly erode employee morale. It fosters a sense of uncertainty that's particularly detrimental to high-level researchers who, you know, need long runways for complex projects. This instability prompts talented individuals to seek more stable and predictable environments where their intellectual capital is consistently valued and their efforts aren't subject to sudden strategic pivots. You need that stability for deep work. Exactly. The report suggests a crucial misalignment in the employer-employee covenant, that unspoken, often emotional, agreement about what each side expects and values in the relationship. When that covenant is broken, or even just strained, it directly impacts long-term innovation capabilities. A sense of instability drives away the very people needed to drive future progress. It's a stark reminder, really, that even the most innovative companies need a coherent strategy for nurturing their most valuable asset their people. And this isn't just a meta problem, is it? The report makes it clear it's a symptom of a much larger, truly global AI talent war that's just escalating fiercely. Competitors are aggressively vying for the exact same incredibly small pool of highly skilled professionals. What's truly fascinating here, and maybe quite alarming for any executive involved in AI, is the sheer intensity of this competition. It sounds like an all-out, no-hold-barred battle for the brightest minds. Oh, absolutely. The intensity is remarkable. With tactics that probably go far beyond standard recruitment. For sure. The report offers some surprising examples that really underscore this intensity. It paints a picture of, well, almost desperate measures by some of the biggest players. Companies like OpenAI have successfully lured away some of Meta's top researchers. And not just with money, but by emphasizing a powerful research-first culture and a clear, almost singular vision for advancing AI. That's a vision that resonates deeply with those seeking to push the absolute boundaries of the field. A clear mission. Precisely. Then you have Google. The report indicates they reportedly employed extreme, almost comical retention efforts. Apparently, they've paid some top AI engineers to essentially do nothing for a period, simply to prevent them from joining competitors. Wow. Paid to sit on the sidelines. Think about that for a moment paying someone millions to not contribute just to keep their talent out of a rival's hands. Yeah. It just highlights the astronomically high stakes and the extraordinary lengths companies are going to for top talent in this rapidly evolving, highly competitive field. And beyond the tech giants, the report also touches on how well-funded AI startups are becoming increasingly attractive, right? They offer these unique value propositions like significant early stage equity, maybe less constrained research environments, and a direct line to impact without all the layers of corporate bureaucracy. Great. Even a place like Meta has bureaucracy. That's a very good point. Startups offer that agility. So what does this broader picture tell you and tell our listeners about what top AI talent truly values? It's clearly not just the paycheck, despite these eye-watering sums involved. It seems like a much more complex equation. It really is. That's a crucial distinction the Vox Asian report makes. The analysis underscores that top AI talent is increasingly seeking out organizations that offer a, uh, a holistic value proposition. This includes greater opportunities for professional growth, intellectual stimulation, and a strong sense of purpose. And for these individuals, purpose isn't just a buzzword. It's about contributing to something genuinely transformative, whether that's foundational research, ethical AI development, or solving truly intractable problems. Meaningful work. Exactly. Factors like autonomy, collaborative environments, and recognition for their contributions are paramount. 
They want to be part of a team where their ideas are heard, their expertise is respected, and they have the freedom to explore. This highlights a broader trend where the work environment, the leadership's vision, and the specific impact they can make are just as important, if not more so, than purely economic factors when these individuals make career decisions. They want to be part of something meaningful, where their efforts are truly valued and absolutely central to the mission. Okay, so understanding all that, what are the actionable takeaways? For Meta, yes, but more broadly. For any company, including those listening, looking to thrive and actually retain its talent in the AI space. The report offers several key recommendations that feel incredibly relevant right now. Yes, it does. First, companies really must prioritize a strategic realignment. They need to clearly articulate AI's central, absolutely non-negotiable role in their future. And this isn't just about putting something nice in a mission statement. It means clearer communication around strategic direction and much more transparency regarding resource allocation. Researchers need to understand precisely how their work contributes to the overall vision and know that their cutting edge contributions aren't just, you know, ancillary to other strategic pivots, but actually foundational to the company's long term success. That kind of clarity can prevent the disillusionment we saw examples of at Meta. That makes perfect sense. Clarity of purpose, strategic alignment, obviously crucial. But that raises another important question. How can companies cultivate the actual internal environment? the day-to-day -day reality where these brilliant minds feel truly valued, empowered, and importantly, inspired to stay and do their best work. Right, the environment is key. A major recommendation is to foster a vibrant internal innovation ecosystem, one that genuinely provides researchers with greater autonomy, creative freedom, and ownership of their projects. This could mean creating dedicated blue sky research tracks, maybe internal incubators for experimental ideas, clear pathways for publishing or presenting their work externally. Giving them space to explore. Exactly. It also includes facilitating interdisciplinary collaboration, connecting AI teams with other cutting edge departments, and crucially providing state of the art resources and tools can't forget that. Furthermore, tailored professional development and upskilling opportunities are vital. The report suggests benchmarking against companies like Microsoft and Google. They're known for robust internal development programs and academic partnerships. Learning from them can provide invaluable insights into building an environment where talent can really flourish. It's about investing in their growth just as much as in their immediate output. So while the money matters tremendously, especially to attract them initially, it's truly about the whole package, isn't it? The intellectual challenge, the culture, the growth opportunities. Yeah. It's a much more intricate tapestry than just salary negotiations. That's precisely right. Companies need a robust and competitive compensation and benefits package. Absolutely. That meets market rates. Mm. That's just table stakes now. But beyond that, they need to offer things like flexible work arrangements, maybe opportunities for sabbaticals for deep research and clear career progression frameworks, frameworks that don't just lead to management, but also to deeper, more impactful research roles. Right. Not everyone wants to manage people. Exactly. Ultimately, it's about building a strong employer brand and a culture that genuinely emphasizes innovation, diversity, inclusion, and employee well-being. And importantly, actively promotes psychological safety. That safety allows researchers to take risks, even fail fast, without fear. Proactive talent management, understanding employee sentiment through regular, meaningful feedback, continuously learning from successful competitors. These are all critical for sustainable innovation. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And culture is the fuel that keeps you going. So the exodus of AI talent from Meta, as detailed in this Vox Agent report, it really serves as a powerful reminder. In this blistering race for innovation, human capital is paramount, and its true value goes far, far beyond the balance sheet. For you, it highlights that a company's vision, its culture, and its authentic commitment to genuine intellectual growth and impact are just as, if not more important than even the most lavish compensation packages. This really feels like the new battleground for AI leadership. It does, and this deep dive makes me wonder, as AI continues its rapid, almost dizzying advancement, will the ability to attract and retain the very top talent ultimately be decided not by who offers the biggest paycheck anymore, but perhaps by who offers the most compelling purpose, the most profound intellectual freedom, and the clearest path to making a truly significant scientific contribution. It's a question that will undoubtedly shape the very trajectory of technological progress in the coming years. Food for thought. Thank you for joining the podcast and see you soon.